Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Let's begin with our math lesson for today. And today we will be learning how to use attributes to describe objects. So, I can use measuring length, measuring weight, and measuring capacity, color, and shape to describe objects. So in the previous lessons, we have learned about how to measure length, how to measure weight, how to measure capacity, and we will be using them to describe objects. Let's begin by watching the following videos so we can understand more what they mean by describing using attributes. Hi there. If I asked you to describe these blocks, what would you say? I'm guessing you'd probably describe their color and shape like the red circle or the blue rectangle. But color and shape are only two attributes that can be used to describe objects. Take this book for instance. We can use cube trains to describe its size. The book is seven cubes wide and eight cubes tall. Size is an attribute that can be measured and used to describe an object. Weight is another attribute that we can use to describe objects. We use a scale to measure weight. Watch as we put an apple on one side of the scale and a watermelon on the other. I could say the apple is lighter than the watermelon, or I could say that the watermelon is heavier than the apple. Now, look at this bottle of juice. We can describe its colors and its shape. We can use cube trains to describe its size, and we can weigh it on a scale. Color, shape, size, and weight are all attributes that we can use to describe this bottle of juice. But there's one more measurable attribute we can use. Do you know what it is? We can describe how much juice the bottle holds. A tool such as a measuring cup helps us tell how much something holds. See the smaller juice bottle? we could say that it holds less juice than the larger bottle. We could also say that the larger bottle holds more juice than the smaller bottle. Now it's your turn. Find an object in the room and see how many attributes you can use to describe it. There are many ways to describe the same object. You can describe objects using different attributes. Attributes are things like shape and color. What words can you use to describe this water bottle? Some words to describe this water bottle are tall, long, full, heavy, clear, and round. Which attributes do these words describe? Long describes length, and heavy describes weight. Clear describes color, and round describes shape. What tools do you see here? You see a cube train, a balance scale, and a measuring cup. What can these tools help you find out? The tools can help you find out how long, how tall, or how heavy something is. Tools can also tell you how much an object holds. Which tool would be best for finding out the height of the water bottle? The cube train would be best for finding out the height of the water bottle. Which tool should you use to find out how heavy the water bottle is? You should use the balance scale to find out how heavy the water bottle is. Is more, the water bottle or the apple? How do you know? The water bottle weighs more. The side with the water bottle is lower. Which looks like it can hold more, the water bottle or the measuring cup? 
The water bottle looks like it can hold more. The measuring cup is a tool you can use to find out how much the water bottle can hold. Now you know how to describe an object by its attributes. So as we have learned and saw in the videos, we will use the cubes to measure the length, the balance to measure the weight, how heavy or how light an object is, and the measuring cup to measure capacity. And remember, we measure capacity for objects that hold liquids if they have liquids inside like water, juice, milk. As you see in number one, I have a pencil. What are the attributes that I can use to measure the or describe the pencil? I can measure its length, so I will use the cubes. I can measure its weight, so I will measure uh, I will use the balance. Am I gonna measure its capacity and how much liquid it holds? No, because a pencil cannot hold liquids, so I will put an X on the measuring cup. I'm not going to use it. Number one, uh, number two, sorry, I have a pail. How can I describe this pail? Using what? Can I measure it? Can I measure its length? Yes, I can measure its length. I can use the cubes to measure its length. Can I measure how heavy or light it is? Yes, I can. I can place it on the balance and it will help me to find its weight. Can I use the measuring cup to measure how much it can hold? Can I put liquid inside the pail or the bucket? Yes, of course. I will use also the measuring cup to measure its capacity. Then I have a glue stick. What do you think? Can I, can I use the measuring cup here to describe the capacity of the glue no i cannot because this glue stick does not hold a liquid can i measure its length using the cubes yes i can so i will circle the cubes can i measure how heavy it is using the balance yes i can so i will circle the balance then i have this jar of paint what do you think can I measure its length and size using the cubes? Of course I can. Can I measure how heavy or how, how light it is using the balance? Of course I can. Now, can I measure its capacity? How much it holds inside? What do I have inside this jar? I have paint. So, can I measure its capacity? Yes, of course I can. I can measure how much paint it holds inside. Then I have a ruler. I can measure its length. I can measure its weight. Can I measure its capacity? No, because the ruler does not hold anything inside. Now I have a cherry. What can I do with the cherry? What do you think? Can I measure its length and size? Of course, yes. Can I measure its weight? Can I put it on the balance and measure its weight? Of course, yes. Can I measure its capacity? Does the cherry hold anything inside it? No, it does not. So I will not measure its capacity. Then I have a cup. Look at this cup here. Can I measure its capacity? Does it hold liquids inside? Does it hold water? Yes, of course. So I can measure how much it holds inside. I can measure how heavy or light it is. And I can measure if it's tall or short. The crayon. What do you think? I will use the cubes to measure how tall or short it is. I will put it on the balance to measure its weight. But I cannot measure its capacity because... It does not hold anything inside. In the last question, I have a balance. Now they're asking me to draw two objects that I can measure using the balance. So it can be any object around you that you can measure its weight. It can be a book. It can be an apple. It can be a glass of water. Anything around you, you can measure 
its weight. So our lesson for today was about how to describe objects using attributes. The attributes are length, weight, capacity, color, and shape. Thank you.